welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would film for you what is in our children's Christmas Eve box. Now I know a lot of you do these boxes now so I thought it would be nice to share with you what we put in ours just because I thought it might give you a little bit of inspiration and maybe some ideas you hadn't thought of. I'm loving watching everyone else's that are up at the minute so that I can get some inspiration for anything I've missed. I may add some more stuff to this afterwards but I think I'm pretty much done now. So yeah I'll dive right in and show you what we've put in our Christmas Eve box. So our actual box is this one here and if you saw my B&M haul a while ago you will have seen that I got this from there. I originally was going to get another one for Toby as well but I've decided just to keep it all in one box this year. He hasn't really got as much stuff in here as Livy so there was no need for me to get a whole separate box for him. So yeah, I thought I'd show you what's in our Christmas Eve box and this is for a five-year-old and a one-year-old. So this is the lid for it and as you can see, it's got a nice big Christmas Eve box on there and there's just so much detail in this box, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like got do not open till the 24th of December on the sides, it's got like you're on the nice list and things like that. So I'm going to dive right in now and show you what is in the box. First up is this little elf bib from Asda and that is obviously for Toby. I was going to get him some bibs to last him all through December but then I decided there's no point so I just got him this one which he can wear on Christmas Day. The next thing in the box is these little pots of reindeer dust. I bought this one this year for Livy and then I discovered that we already had this one. So I just figured they both can have a pot and we can go out and sprinkle this in the backyard on Christmas Eve together. Oh, these were from Home Bargains and I think they were like 60p each. Next thing we've had in here for a while, my mum bought it for Livy a while ago. Um, this was originally from Card Factory and it is Santa Stop here with his little key. And it's just got a really nice saying on there that says, we're leaving you a magic key because we have no chimney. So on Christmas day, we'll wait to see the presents you've left under the tree. So that's just on there. I can't remember how much that was. Like I said, my mum did buy it a while ago for Livy and we've just kept it and reused it every year. Next up, I did have one of these originally, but I don't know where I've put it. So I got another one and it is a little glass milk jar which says santa's milk on we're going to put this out on christmas eve with his milk in along with our tray that i will have a mince pie for him and some carrots for the reindeer i always like to put a little snack in the box for livy but this year i wanted something that both of them can enjoy together something that isn't overly chocolatey because i don't like livy to have too much chocolate anymore so i found a box of these cadbury's mini festive friends so these are like animal biscuits but they're in the shape of snowmen and santa and reindeer and they're just a nice little treat for them to share on christmas eve to go with that i got livy this really cute little santa's mug and it comes with marshmallows and i thought she could have a nice little hot chocolate in that i do have a little christmas mug for toby but that's already in the cupboard and he's already using it so i'm just gonna pop that in there that night so he can use that as well but this was 1.99 from home bargains and i just thought it was absolutely gorgeous I don't think you can go wrong for that price and I think you'd pay a lot more if you got it from anywhere else. I do still need to put a lush bath bomb for each of them into this box. I just haven't popped that in yet. So that will be in there as well. So to go with that, I got Toby this little snowman washcloth. I just thought it'd be really cute for him in the bath. He loves puppets and things. So I thought it'd be a nice little fun way to give him a wash. I've still not chosen which pajamas I want to put in here for Toby. There are so many nice Christmas pyjamas around that I'm being really, really indecisive. I think I've seen a sleep suit I want in next to go in here though. So I'll pick that up and I'll pop that in here. Livy's jammies that are in here are actually from last year, but I'm reusing them this year because they'll still fit her. They're brilliant. I got them from Home Bargains. They're just these ones with the Santa and the candy canes on. Nice little cuffed bottoms and red. And then the top of it to go with them has... Dear Santa, this year I have been very, and then it's got good ticked. And she absolutely loved these on Christmas Eve last year. So I thought, why waste them? Why waste money buying her a new pair when she can wear these ones again? She hasn't worn them since last Christmas, so waste not, want not. 
Then from Asda I got them both a pair of these adorable matching socks. I mean, how cute are they, the little reindeers? And they're all fluffy. These were £1.50 each and I just think they are gonna love putting these on with their pyjamas. Obviously, if Toby's got a sleep suit on, I won't pop them on with that, but I might end up buying him a pair of pyjamas. So I thought they are gonna be so cute. And when they come down on Christmas morning as well, they can have them on and be all matching and sweet. When the children are tucking into their little snacks, and their hot chocolates obviously Toby's will just be warm I'm gonna pop on a DVD and I always like to give them a new DVD to watch every Christmas Eve it's always Christmas related and this year I didn't get this last year I was very very nearly bought it but I didn't but this year I've got it and I've gone for Paw Patrol Pup Save Christmas and it's got a couple of like penguin themed episodes on as well. Livy is going to absolutely freak out when she sees this because she's been asking for it over and over again so I can't wait to watch that with her. Sometimes it's nice not to put a movie on on Christmas Eve just because if it goes on too long and you want to get them into bed. So things like this we've had in the past the Pepper one, the Ben and Holly one, just things like this are nice because if you are getting too late you can stop it after an episode and be like right it's finished now time for bed and then they can always watch it again at a later date anyway but we give our christmas eve boxes on the morning i don't know about you guys i think some people give them on the evening but we give it on the morning so that it makes it a bit more exciting it's something fun to be woken up to on christmas eve morning and our elf leaves christmas eve morning as well and leaves this box for them i wanted something in the box that can entertain livy in the day because obviously christmas eve is very busy i like to spend as much time as i can with her but there are pockets of time in the day where i need to be doing other things so i got this coloring book from card factory it was 99p and it comes with the pencils as well it's also got stickers in it and a few little activities and things so i thought this will be brilliant it'll just mean that she can sit down for 10 minutes or so and color in play with the stickers while i get some things done after we've watched the DVD, I like us to snuggle up with a book like we have done every night and just get all cosy and just wind down and get nice and cosy. So I've popped in a new book for each of them. They will have one last book in the book advent, but I just wanted to pop a couple of more in because you can never have too many books, especially in our house. So I got Livy the Princess Snow and the Unicorn and that has got like the water on the front I think you can see just a nice little story for us to share together and it's unicorn so she's gonna love it that one was from home bargains and was two pounds and then I got Toby this one from Aldi which was one pound 79 and it's jingle bells and you can play the song <laughs> see so yeah, I just thought this would be really really fun for him okay it just keeps going <laughs> He love that because of the music and I can imagine him now doing his little dance that he does with his bum wiggle and it's got boxes in which is absolutely perfect for Toby. Then the last thing in here, now this made me laugh because I got it home and I realised there was a massive spelling mistake on it but it's this Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve pack and it includes two stencils for Santa's boots. And then it includes two packs of glitter. We've already got our reindeer dust, but we'll go for the glitter as well. Why not? We'll go all out. Um, and the Santa's map and key. Now, obviously, we've already got our key, but I got this mainly for the map, which makes this even more annoying because I got it home and I realised, can you see that it says Santana's Christmas Eve Root Tracker. <laughs> The thing is, I was like, oh, they'll never know, it's fine. Livy reads everything, so she's going to know it doesn't say Santa. But oh well, I just thought it'd be fun. And it comes with little stickers so we can track where Santa's going and things like that before they go to bed. That's everything that's in our Christmas Eve box. If you think I've missed anything, please let me know in the comments below so I can run out and grab them last minute. I'd love to hear what you put in your boxes. If you've got any videos of what you put in yours as well, leave them in the comments below and I'll go and check them out because like I said, I'm loving watching them at the minute. Anything Christmas related at the minute, I'm just loving binging on. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new around here, please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. I'd love you to stick around and watch some more of my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!